Hello students, welcome to new video of Vignan Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about one third chapter of physics of 10th standard CBSC, which is magnetic effects of electric current. You already know from your previous classes that there are three effects of electric current which are the yes. One is heating effect, chemical effect and the magnetic effect. Heating effect I think you learned in the last lesson which was electricity. And what about the chemical effect? Chemical effect is nothing but you learn in chemistry which is nothing but electrolysis at all. And now in this lesson we are going to learn magnetic effect. So the lesson says magnetic effects of electric current. So before getting into the lesson, have you seen magnets? Of course, yes. Everyone has seen magnets. You might have seen magnets everywhere. Where you might have played with that also. Okay, and when the naughty and curious ones, you might have opened the speaker and motor and everything and you might have seen magnets there also. And then you might have wondered now, what's the use of having magnets in this speaker and motor, you know? Yes, you are going to get the answers for all these your curious questions in this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to understand why there are magnets in your motor and in your uh, speaker and many other electrical appliances. And you will also come to know why you should not keep your magnets near the electrical appliances. So, ready to go? So let us start. So first thing, let us understand what are magnets. So what are the magnets? Yeah, I know you all know. Magnets are, magnet is an object which has the property to attract pieces of iron, steel, nickel and cobalt. Yes. So what's the fun of doing lesson without conducting an experiment? So let us conduct an experiment to see how a magnet works. So let us take some minor iron nails. Huh, see, now let us, uh, now you can see as of now you can see that they are not attracting each other. Iron nails don't have the property of attracting each other. Now let us take a magnet. So when we take this magnet near the iron nails, you can see that they all, they all are attracted by magnet. This shows that magnet attracts iron things nickel things and cobalt and some other magnetic substances. I hope you all enjoyed the last experiment. Now let us go to next topic. So now in this lesson we will understand different type of magnets also. Mainly the magnet we use in this lesson is called as bar magnet. So this is bar magnet. You can see it is like a, a chocolate bar also. Okay. So what is a bar magnet? Bar magnet is a rectangular shaped magnet with uniform cross section. You can see that this is rectangular shape and the cross section is uniform both opposite sides. And then you can see that this is the bar magnet and these ends of the bar magnets are called poles of the magnet. And these strength of the magnet is highest at these poles. And you know that when the magnet is suspended freely, it, it shows north south direction and the north direction is marked by a dot like this. Okay, so this is north pole and this is south pole of a magnet. And you know one more very important property which helps you to play with the magnet. What is that? That is like poles of the magnet, unlike poles of the magnet attract each other. You can see these are unlike poles which are attracting each other. And like poles of the magnet, yes, what happens? Yes, they repel each other. Yes, you all know about magnets. I need not tell you more about it. So let us go to next property of the this lesson and uh, next concept of this lesson that is magnetism. So this is this is also nothing such as such very new, but you might have not observed this lecture. Okay, so what is magnetism? Magnetism is property of a magnetic substance which acts like a magnet, even though basically it's not a magnet. So this magnetic substance when it comes in contact with the magnet for a few minutes or for some time it behaves like a magnet even though basically it does not have any properties of magnet. 
So now we will understand this magnetism through a very nice experiment. Okay, let us see the experiment. So let us take a bar magnet. You can see the poles of the magnet. So that is north pole and this is south pole. Uh, so uh, let us take, you already know that like poles of a magnet uh, repel each other and unlike poles attract each other. Let us bring one more bar magnet. So you can see that I am I'm bringing both north poles near. So now they are, see you can see that they repel each other. So when I bring like poles, they attract each other. I think you understood that. In a magnet, like poles repel each other, unlike poles attract each other. Now let us understand magnetism. Now let us take some iron nails near the magnet. You can see that the magnet attracts iron nails. But what's fun is the magnet is attracting the first nail. Okay, this first nail is attracting the next nail. Even though first nail is not a magnet, it is behaving like magnet and attracting the second nail. Now the second nail is also behaving like magnet and attracting the third nail. And the third nail is also behaving like magnet and attracting the fourth nail. So how many nails it can attract like this in the chain depends on the strength of this magnet. So this shows that property of magnetism. Now these all nails are said to be magnetized. This is the property of magnetism. I hope you all understood. So now let us go to the next concept which is magnetic field. So what is magnetic field? It is the space around the magnet where the attraction of magnet can, attraction or repulsion of the magnet can be experienced. Now you see this magnet, I am holding this magnet. The space around this magnet where we can experience attraction or repulsion is called as magnetic field. Okay. So this magnetic field has both magnitude and direction. So it becomes a, yes, it's a vector quantity because it has magnitude and direction both. So we'll learn about this more in the coming classes. Okay. So now let us go to the next concept. So I think magnetic field is here. Magnetic field is nothing but the uh, place around the space, around the magnet where you feel the attraction or repulsion of the magnet highest okay now let us come to magnetic field lines what are magnetic field lines these are actually imaginary lines of force around the bar magnet which are in the form of magnetic field i told you that this is a bar magnet around this there is magnetic field this magnetic field is imagined in the form of lines and these lines are called as magnetic field lines Okay, and there is one more definition to it. It is also the path traveled by mark, north magnetic pole of a compass. It is also called as a path traveled by north magnetic pole of a compass. I think this is clear. To make this much clear, we will do an experiment and try to draw magnetic lines of force, which will make the concept more clear to you people. So I have taken a bar magnet, I have placed in between the sheet. Now I will take some iron fillings and I will spread them around the bar, bar magnet. You can see that. You can see the formation of magnetic lines of force around the bar magnet. So now see these uh, iron fillings are getting settled in some respective positions. Exactly in the positions. Not everywhere. Even though I am trying to scatter them out, they are getting settled in respective positions which shows it as magnetic lines of force. Okay, you can see here if I tap also they will settle in the same place and you can see in near the poles most number of iron fillings are there which shows that the strength of the magnet is highest near the poles. Let us take a small compass and a bar magnet. Now I have already placed the magnet on a sheet of white paper fixed on a drawing board using some adhesive material. Now let, I have already marked the boundary of this magnet. Now I am going to place this compass near the north pole of the magnet. See now the south pole of the needle is pointing towards the north pole of the magnet. 
Now let us wait with the deflection stop. You can see that the deflection is more because it is near the pole where the strength of the magnet is maximum. Okay, so we are waiting. So the north pole of the compass is directed away from the north pole of the magnet. Now, let us mark the position of both ends of the needle. Now, I am moving the needle to a new position such that its south pole occupies the position previously occupied by its north pole. So, I am going to mark now, mark the position. So you can see it's already showing the south pole of the compass. Sorry, south pole of the magnet. Compass is showing the pointing towards the south pole of the magnet. So I'm going to put my last point in the south pole of the magnet. Now I'm going to remove the compass from here. Then now I will join all the points marked on the paper by a smooth curve. So let us mark the direction also. So we can actually repeat. Uh, so this curve actually represents a magnetic field line. Okay. Now we can repeat the same procedure and draw as many lines as we can. So we can draw some lines inside also. field lines. Now let us understand the properties of magnetic field lines. Okay. So the first property is direction of magnetic field lines is always from north to south. So if this is our magnet, the direction of the magnetic field lines is always north to south outside the magnet and it is south to north inside the magnet. So it actually forms a closed curve. So north to south, then south to north, it forms a closed curve. It's a very important point, please remember. Okay. So then the strength of the, you can see in the diagram, this picture also. See, strength of the magnetic field is highest near the poles because here the lines are very close. Wherever the lines are very close, strength of the magnetic field is highest. Whereas the other sides, they will be uniform other than the pole, other than near the poles. Even inside the magnet also, they will be uniform. 
And the next property is no two magnetic lines of force intersect each other. Just now we saw how we plotted magnetic lines of force. When we plot magnetic lines of force, we are using a compass. Compass at a time can show only one direction. Can it show two direction? No. In the same way, magnetic field lines cannot show two direction at one time. So they never intersect each other. They always like this, they always turn in this fixed, that is from north to south. So these are very, very important properties from your examination point of view. We hope you are clear. So the direction of magnetic so field lines is north to south, outside the magnet and south to north, inside the magnet and no two lines of force intersect each other at any point. So let us have quick recap of what all we learned in this video. Okay. First we learned about magnet. What is a magnet? Magnet is an object which has a property to attract things, certain things. Then we learned about magnetism. What is magnetism? Property of a magnet to force other magnetic substances to behave like a magnet. It is called as magnetism. Then we understood magnetic field lines. They are imaginary lines of force drawn around the magnet which indicates magnetic field lines, which indicates the presence of magnetic force. Okay. Then we understood the properties of magnetic lines of force. So the properties of magnetic field lines are, they start from, so the properties of magnetic field lines are, they start from north to south outside the magnet and they start from south to north inside the mark magnet. In this way they form a closed loop. They form a closed curve and then the strength of the mag magnetic lines of force is shown by degree of how close these magnetic field lines are and then uh, they, these magnetic field lines, no two magnetic field lines intersect each other. They never intersect each other. These are the points which we discussed in this video. So, in this video, we understood introduction to magnetic effects of electric current. So, in next video, we will understand magnetic field due to different types of current carrying conductors. I hope you all understood the concept which was taught in this video. If you didn't understand anything, please feel free to comment in the comment section and click the bell icon for recent updates. Thank you.